He can't wait to see how bad he can go. Oh, it's going to get worse. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> um... <laughs> Far gone for you. Uh, don't laugh. Serious, this. I think um, it stands up on its own, in, in its own kind of heist film, because it's about, I think it's something that everyone can kind of relate to. Um, I, I don't know, have I said anything? Yes, yet? you have, yeah. Yeah, you did. You were saying everyone can relate to it, so it's yeah. not your typical heist film in that sense. Yeah. Which I totally agree with. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's a great down to earth. Uh, you know, the way I laughed. <laughs> <so it's similar. laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, the reality of filming is that Jared's not even there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of, uh, yeah, I don't have, I'm, I'm a, a very skilled archer. Um, yeah. and, and sometimes I worry myself with how good with I am. how have. good you are. Mm. How do is you that feel? how you keep them in line on set? Yeah, I threat, threaten them with imminent death. Yeah, yeah. Lunch, you'd always go and ask him one or, or have him. Yeah, and I'd say, and why well, say goes? Oh, rabbit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I catch catch everyone their lunch, you know, cook it on on a on a fire, um, on a spit, and uh, yeah, titty bits like that. Quite. <laughs> I I ate a lot of sausages. Oh, ace. Yeah. Or maybe some yeah. sausages or some yeah. good German beer. Well, you know me, I like sausages. Um, but um, you know, I like sausages. <laughs> don't get me wrong, and um, and and farmers. Particularly pigs, um, but um, no, no, I, no, I, I really. Yeah, I mean, I'm not answering your question at all, but um, I'm doing a very politician-y thing. I'm not using my hands as much as I'd like to. But, um, is that um, Alfie Allen, um, who plays Theon Greyjoy, is in a world of pain? How much, how much fun is it to torture Alfie Allen? Well, it's on television, so I'm not really actually torturing him, but. Um, no, it's good fun. I mean, Alfie's a brilliant guy and he's really... Alfie's fans will be relieved to hear that. There's no actual physical... No, Alfie Allens were harmed in the making of this show. Yeah, he still has a penis, but um, it's... Uh... I mean, the show's jam-packed full of talent. Is there anyone else you've had a chance to work with or just been on set with and, and really been impressed by or learnt from? Um, no, no, I've just been with him. <laughs> is, it, is it you and him just torturing yeah, Alfie? Yeah, Alfie? yeah, poor fucker. <laughs> what is your name? Those, those torture scenes, what headspace do you get yourself in to have to play in those types of scenes? Um, I guess to go to those really dark places, you have to kind of keep it light in between. But you know, ironically, Uran kind of was one person who kind of helped me through it. You know, the person that you see inflicting all this pain on me was actually really there for me. Sorry to be all mushy, <laughs> but you were. You know, he was a- uh, A lot of love in the room. There's a lot of love in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Remember what you are and what you're not. Well, what sort of things can we expect from your character? Some more horrific behaviour, um, <laughs> real disgraceful stuff, you know. Yeah, you, you wouldn't want to take him home to meet your mother. <laughs> you mentioned Neil Maskelyne, and you've worked with him before, haven't you, on recently on um, St George's Day. What was it like reuniting? <laughs> what was it like reuniting with him? Who do you think's worse and why, Joffrey or your character? Um, I think Joffrey because he doesn't do his own dirty work. Basically. So, because you get in there, mix it up yourself. I do it myself. Yeah, if, if something needs to be done, do it yourself, in it. <laughs> no, if you had to die on Game of Thrones, how would you go? And who do you think's had the best death so far? Oh, I mean, it's some crackers. I mean, it's oh, a big question. I'm asking too much about it because I, I don't want someone to show up with a broadsword and take my head off. Um, I guess is there anything else you've got coming up at the moment? I think you've got a couple of films, one with Edgar Ramirez, and then um, yeah. I think Peter Capaldi. You're doing uh, Driven with him as well. Yeah, apparently I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, he's a bit of a scumbag, really. Easy part to play. Um, yeah, it's quite hard actually because it's quite far away from what I've always done and stuff. So yeah, it was a really big challenge and being around all these guys because you know they're all proper Londoners and that, and I'm not. So it was kind of having to try and pretend that I was. Uh, a rubai from the street, innit? Uh, well, Wild Bill, innit? Wild Bill! <laughs> yeah! The first person who said that. Ah, man, yeah, it's proper safe, innit? Twitter, I ask people to ask questions. You have the weirdest fan base. And uh, they all are. Oh, yeah. Me yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the character you play, but yeah, probably, uh, most. Yeah.
of them were, can you please touch him? <laughs> I won't do that, but, <laughs> um, but they did ask me if your relationship, because uh, can you tell me a synopsis, what's going on in the first episode for anyone who hasn't, obviously um, hasn't seen it? <laughs> uh, like a shapeshifter, yeah, um, causing, causing havoc in yeah. the center. And everything's almost revealed. But oh, oh, maybe it is. What was that scene? Um, I have, yeah, I have, I have a couple of sex scenes. They were quite fun. I've seen one of them. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you've, got, you've got a great ass. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's it's just weird because there's a lot of people around, um, and it's not very sexy, and you're very very naked, cold perhaps as well. <laughs> That's his excuse anyway. So. <laughs> Well, it's, this is a non-fan, Misfits fan, they just got the wrong guy. And they came up to me, I was in Sainsbury's uh, looking at herbs. Um, we were doing some cooking, it wasn't a big deal. Um, and, uh, and this woman came up and said, oh, are you that guy off the X Factor? And I was like, what? <laughs> I think, I don't know, I think immortality would be pretty rubbish one to have. Because you just... I think after a while you would probably get bored of living as great as it would be to live for ages, but I think, you know, it would be pretty bad to watch everyone grow old and die. <laughs> yeah, not to, not to bring the vibe down or anything. <laughs> if you had his superpower, what would you use it for? For, for good. <laughs> no, you'd be able to have a lot of fun with it, wouldn't you? You'd be able to see things that you wouldn't be able to see on a normal everyday basis. You could sneak into the girls' changing rooms and uh the very young Ian Curtis. Like a lot of joy division. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And I think uh, you know you can see that in, in the way we've styled him a little bit. Mm, not weird like his character Simon. So brings a lot of humour to the table and a lot of banter. Gee thanks guys! <laughs> Iwan. Iwan. And Joe makes it his mission it's, to He's make a fucking pain up. in the ass, man. It, <laughs> and then basically, he goes himself. out of his way off yeah. camera. Yeah. Like, like hitting yourself, though. Yeah, but it's the, the only way. <laughs> you must be bruised badly. Man. It really is. It does all this. He's that bad that he'll eat his, he bites his lip off. Fear that. <laughs> and he does yeah. this as well. It's like he's sat <laughs> yeah. his face Don't do it. Come on, come on. It's got with to be done, a hammer, with a hammer. I'm so bad. Oh, if it's that unprofessional, yeah. we'll just point over there, shall we? Because Mr. I fucking bite my lip and make it bleed. Yeah, but why am I laughing? Because you're a twat. Because I'm a twat. I've usually got my penis out, or Lauren might produce a brass. You don't know what might occur. You do. Or other worse things which we won't mention in an interview. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're on our way. In, in the toilet. <laughs> in the toilet. We're going for a quick. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and yeah, on the way to the toilets, Nafa was heckled for being famous. Who's pumped? It's got to be Wales, hasn't it? Yeah, but you have. You've fucking he's fucking pumped. He has. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Na oh. <laughs> he's pumped. <laughs> National telly, you're pumped on national TV, look. What about you two? Is there anything you've ever been uncomfortable about doing? Well, we do a sex scene in this next series, and... Yeah. Uh, I was very gentle. I was very gentle and considerate lover. Mm. Um, you know, it's all, it's, you know, it's, all, it's about, you know, us as opposed to just me. And, um, yeah, but apart yeah. from that, no, it was fine. God was I, I've got a little scene with Robert, um, seriously, where <clears throat> we had to, you know, get quite close. Um, won't tell you what happens, but um, yeah, that that was quite difficult, but more in the sense that I just wanted to laugh as opposed to um, the gentle love making. Them. Yeah, it was a bit more rough and animalistic. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about awkward situations, Iwan. Uh, I'd imagine the kiss with Rob Sheen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, be, I loved it. <laughs> He loved it, Jonathan. Like, he loved it. How do you, how do you get to that situation? How do you not make that weird? Um, it's very difficult, but he's kind of always trying to make me laugh, so it's uh, <laughs> it's quite like, difficult not to <laughs> laugh, especially when you got Robert Sheehan licking your face. Yes. Uh, I, yeah. Well, there's a lot of women who would be very jealous about that. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What I'm doing like a weird Richard Burton. Here. I don't know. Uh, I, like, right. I like it. Um, okay, I'll try again. Okay, let me get that music. 
few weeks ago, a random nice lady paid for our lunch at a pizza restaurant near Knightsbridge. No reason at all, apparently. She just felt like it. Amazing lady. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was, great. <laughs> that was good. Should we have one more? One more. Well, let's have one more. Josh, thank you for taking my pup for a walk this morning. <laughs> yeah! I don't even know if that was actually Ramsey, bro. It was a horrible character. It was still pretty horrible. I really like. You felt like paying for our pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, I mean, people are generally quite nice. I think when you do a show like this, I think people are aware that you're an actor and, you know, if I was going around in his costume, maybe it would be a different thing, but... <laughs> yeah, he, 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 yeah, you know that he's an actor. Uh, uh, you know that I'm... Who is the actor? <laughs> Am I an actor? Are we acting now? I really hope you're an actor, otherwise I don't want to be on stage with Ramsey. <laughs> um, I'd like to... Uh, Wolverine would be someone that I'd be very interested in playing. Um, and then I'm not allowed to talk about DC anymore, so uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> you got the facial hair going on for it, though, so... Thanks. You're ripe and ready. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who... <laughs> uh, who's got the next question? I've got the best power. You've got I'm going to ask you, who do you yeah, think yeah. has the best power? Because well, I think you have in, in a different way, but then I also think you have, because you could do yeah. anything you want and no one will know. Yeah, I could walk around naked and stuff, what? and no one would know I was naked. Oh, right, to be what? fair, if someone said to me, you're invisible, what is one thing you could do? I, I, I wouldn't be like, walk around naked, I'd be like, rob a bank, maybe, you know. <laughs> you could break it, sneak in someone's change room and they're naked, I wouldn't go, walk around naked. But you could go to the Houses of Parliament and sit down there naked. <laughs> I'm with you on that one, mate. I'm right with you on that one. That'd be sad, man. <laughs> That'd be quality. Yeah. So would you like, you know, Gordon Brown to see you in the buff? Oh well, no, he wouldn't be able to see me, I'd be invisible. Exactly! <laughs> Good point, I never thought of that. <laughs> right, so guys, <laughs> oh, you got me there. One thing I remember about the Inhumans was they lived on the moon. Do, do, do they live on the moon in this? They do, yeah. they do, yeah, live on the moon. In and are city. you shooting on location, or do you yeah, guys yeah. do it in Canada? <laughs> yeah, well, we, we couldn't get the moon, so we did it on Mars. Um, <laughs> the union rules are cheaper there, yeah. right? Isn't that yeah, how it works? Yeah, great crews as well, yeah, really good. You had a good-sized cock. What? No. Pork sausage. You think I'm some sort of savage? <laughs>